Today I'm going to talk to you about how to do your makeup like the typical high school girl. So I'm going to start out with the um, basic elements of your skin and that consists of some sort of concealer or foundation and powder. So with the foundation you want to just take as much as you can fit onto your finger. Like that's a good amount like that. Like as much as you can fit onto your finger without it falling off and just put it all over your face because you don't want to seem like you have any sort of blemishes. You don't ever want to make anybody think you're not wearing makeup because you can't let people see you without makeup. That's a, that's a complete issue. You can't let anybody ever see you without makeup. You have to be perfect all the time. And if you were to have a blemish, God forbid, you will cover it and I will teach you how to do so. So you just keep applying the makeup until your face is mostly covered. You don't have to cover the whole thing. It doesn't have to really be even as long as it's opaque and you can't see your skin under it. It's good. All right. The next step is powder. So you take your powder. You see I've already used quite a bit of it because I use this on a regular day-to-day -day basis. You get as much as you can on your little thing. You put it all over your face. Make sure there's no shine. Like normal people, they sometimes look like they have uh, like oil on their face sometimes, but no, not a high school girl. Not. That is not acceptable. No oil. None of that. All powder. We're going to go to the bronzer. There are multiple types of bronzer. This is a, uh, this is called Dream Mousse Bronzer, um, Sun Glow, because the reason people use bronzer is to get a natural glow from the sun, but if you're a high school girl, you don't want a natural glow. You want to look like you're burned. You want to look as orange and pasty as possible, and so you make it to where your cheeks glint off the reflection of whoever's looking at you. And maybe you can even add in some of uh, this. This is called pout. Get as much bronzer as you can on your brush and just put it all over your face. All over your face. There's no um, limit to how, how much bronzer you can wear, you know? So um, just put as much as you can. As so much as you can. Oh no. So next, we are going to cover the eye makeup. And there are some basics in eye makeup that you want. You want um, eyeliner as much as possible. Get one that is dark. This is called um, Midnight Black. That's good because Midnight so dark. So you want to be so dark. Um, and then you have the mascara. You want to use it as much as possible. It doesn't matter if it's like goopy or uh, or globby or anything, as long as it's on heavily. It doesn't really matter what it looks like as long as there's as much on as possible. So yeah. Um, another essential item in eye makeup is eyeshadow. Except this is more of a natural tone, and I'm not gonna go. I'm not going for the natural look because high school girls. You don't want to look natural. You don't, I've already covered this, but you don't want to look like you're not wearing makeup. That's, if somebody sees you without makeup, oh, God, I mean, that's, that's not a good thing. That's just not. Um, I'm going to start out with an eyeliner. Just going to put as much on. You don't really have to be uh, careful. I've actually hurt myself a few times with eyeliner because I just kind of, put it in any sort, of, but I just like to call that the smoky look, so it doesn't matter. Um, gotta get really far down below when you do it. You know, um, this isn't dark, this isn't working enough. I think I'm gonna use this Crayola marker, black. They won't really be able to tell the difference, so it doesn't matter. Um, just, I don't really know what you would do with a Scott in your eye. That would probably be pretty bad. Just try not to let that happen, but if you do, it's okay. You might, like, lose eyesight for a few days, but that's just a sacrifice you're going to have to make in order to look beautiful. 
Okay, now um, I have one eye done, and I would just like you to notice the contrast in my eyes. And just notice how this is uh, boring, and you can't even see the color of my eye because it's just no eye makeup, and anybody without makeup looks ugly automatically. This eye, though, has eye makeup on it, so this eye is stunning. I shock people with my eyes sometimes. Because it's so shocking and beautiful and exotic. Okay, so now that my eyes are just popping out, shocking, just beautiful, I'm going to go and I'm going to darken my eyebrows. Since I'm a brunette, darkening my eyebrows is essential so that they're like way darker than my hair shade. And even if you're blonde, um, you want you don't want your eyebrows to match your hair color. That's not good. You want them to be as off as you can get them. And I want to make mine black if possible. And I'm probably going to have to use a Crayola marker again for this one because this is just not intense enough, you know? Just not intense enough, so... That's just not dark enough, I've decided. Bringing out the Crayola marker again. Alright, so, um, putting this on my eyebrow, it doesn't really necessarily have to be the exact same shape as your eyebrow because as long as it's dark and, like, it draws attention. You don't want to unibrow, though. <laughs> Okay, so now moving on to eyeshadow. I'm going to use this brown, but I really don't think it'll be dark enough. You want your eyeshadow to go up as far as possible without it actually hitting your eyebrow. And between the area between your eyebrow and your eyeshadow, you want to make it as, as light as possible because that just uh, gives contrast to your eyes, and that's exotic, so... You always want exotic all the time. That's what I'm doing on this eye, if you can't tell. Um, just love the contrast here. Just love it. Okay, and um, now I have to use the mascara. Just, you know, I'm going to fast forward this because it will take a good 10 minutes for me. Gotta do a motion like this, so just a rapid motion coming towards your eye. Um. Okay, and the globier the better, the more the better, as long as it's dark. Okay, um, I want small eyes. Oh, uh, I just got, I got some right here, if you see, I got, I messed up a little, and I got some mascara here. No big deal. People like that. No big deal. Don't even try to cover it up. It's not a big deal. Okay. What am I missing? Oh, lip gloss. Okay, so you, the look that high school girls go for is sticky. That's how I define it. And you want to make them dark and sticky. I'm going to go ahead and put some eyeshadow on my lips. Just darken them a little. So dark. So dark. Okay, now I'm going to take this lip gloss and put it all over my lips. And just, it's sticky as possible. That way, when you're walking and your hair blows and it gets on onto your lip, it'll stick there. See? My hair got stuck to my lip. So hot. So hot. It's really, when people see you do that, they just like immediately think you're cool. It's okay though if you get out of the lines a little bit because that's um, messy. It's going for the messy look, which is good. It's uh, bohemian it's in right now, so go for that. Um, okay, I think... I'm pretty much done now, except if you want to, you can just put some final touches of bronzer on your face, just you know, bronzer, bronzer, bronzer. all the time, everywhere. Oh, let's just take a full scan of my face, just see the, the absolute beauty of it, and just how exotic I look, and just, like, so touchable, and just so kissable, and that's exactly the look you're going for. So, thank you so much for watching my video. I'm so glad that you know how to do this now. So, um, have a wonderful day and look gorgeous.